Hi, this is Jason with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. I'm out near Independence Pass and I'm on a east facing near tree line slope. And uh, we've got some soft snow on the surface and I actually thought it was really shallow. I thought this was the ground, but it is so hard underneath. I can barely chop it with my shovel. There's some facets down at the ground, but they're really small and um, it's almost homogenous from the top to the bottom after you get through this soft snow. So this is just one little area. If you find some shallow spots on some east slopes, you might find some better developed facets of the ground. And if you have a fresh slab on top, that could be a problem. Unfortunately, we're gonna go into a dry period here and the fasting process is gonna be uh, full steam ahead. So things will change before the next storm, but just what we're seeing now in this one, one place. Now we're on a north facing near tree line slope. And it's really different than what we saw before on the east facing slope. On the east facing slope, we saw a thick slab but uh, the snow near the ground really wasn't that weak. Here's the complete opposite. No slab, it's all soft, and then really, really weak snow near the ground. So if you were to find a drifted slab on a northerly slope, maybe uh, just below ridge top or a cross-loaded gully, that's really something you want to avoid. So northerly slopes that are wind drifted, uh, be careful. And then for the future, um, this isn't gonna get better. We're going into some dry weather. So on northerly slopes, when it snows again and we get a big thick slab, uh, we're going to have problems in a lot of places.